Welcomes, welcome to Shannon's DIY corner. Because I'm sitting in the corner. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something a bit different today. I am going to do some DIYs and I know I rarely do DIYs on this channel, but you know I made this channel for DIYs. <laughs> it's crazy how that happens, but anyway, give you a little background on why I'm doing some DIYs today. A couple of weeks ago, my husband gave me the green light to redesign office yes let me tell you I've been trying to get into this office since we moved into this house so <laughs> when he said honey please redesign my office I was on it I already had stuff ordered I had a theme <laughs> had everything done in my head but he did tell me that he wanted this mid-century modern madman type of feel in his office so today I found a few things that he already had to save coins I'm gonna spruce up myself and hopefully that hopefully hopefully okay hopefully <laughs> they fit with the mid-century modern theme that we have going on back there and if you want to see his office which I hope you do come back and subscribe and you'll see it next week because we have a big reveal and it needs to happen quick because I'm running out of ideas of trying to keep him out of the space so come on back and let's do the big reveal so anyway I have four projects and let's get into it okay so like I said my husband wants this mid-century modern look vibe in his office. So I bought him this mid-century modern planter and you you guys know what the planter looks like but I'll add a picture and you know you always see the little white um, pot that goes it's either could be white or gold and um, he had this old Ikea trash can I think it's Venice Venice I'm saying it all wrong, probably. Please forgive me, Ikea, butchering the name, but finesse. Hey, I just say finesse, okay? <laughs> um, it was this plain little white trash can that cost us maybe one to two dollars, and we were gonna throw it away, but I was like, no, 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 we can use that. But instead of it being just a regular little white trash can, We'll remix it a little bit. So, what I am going to do is take the trash can and wipe it in some um, jute cord or jute twine. I'm messing all my words up today, y'all. Forgive me. Cord, rope. <laughs> anyway, so I sent my husband to Michael's to get some rope so that I can cover this trash can so that his mid-century modern planter would just have added flair. But I would say cute, but he said he didn't want anything cute in his office. So have it look, look more manly. Yeah, manly. <laughs> so this is the cord. And we got 100 feet, I believe. And it was 11 but you know Michaels always have the um, the sales, like 50% and stuff. So what I'm going to do, if it allows me, where's the starting point? Okay, here we go. What I'm going to do is 
I'm just going to wrap the cord or rope around the trash can and then stick it in the planter. So here we go. And that's that, folks. It's much heavier with all this rope on it now, but I didn't do the inside because you're not going to see it. That's where the plant is going to go, but it has stepped up its game a bit. <laughs> I'm going to use the last little bit of this to kind of add a little flair to, um, I don't want to say a water bottle, but it's a container. I'll say a glass container. Now, I've had this container for about two or three years. And I got it from um, the Target dollar spot, which was $3, but it was in the dollar spot. And... Um, I haven't used it because I have another one similar to it and it's literally has just been in the cabinet just collecting dust. So gave it a good cleaning because it was a bit dusty. And got the cord. I'm just gonna see where I want it to stop. I think I want it to be like Looking at me and saying, Shannon, that container is not mid-century modern. And you're right, it's not. <laughs> it is far away from mid-century modern. Kind of get like a little beach vibe vibe. It's cute, but we won't say cute because he doesn't want anything cute in his office. It's uh, a nice personal touch, you know, because again, it has the established in 1984. Just slamming this down, Lord, don't let me break it. But yeah, it's established in 1984, and that's his birth year. And I know that he wanted a little bar area in his room trying to do this without breaking this container I'm just sliding it all over the place but this is what it's looking like so far so this is done and you know when you add some ropes and stuff it gives it some weight <laughs> actually it feels like it should have some alcohol in here now you know, you know. <laughs> he does too. I hope he doesn't look at it and be like, what in the world? But it's different. And again, cork on it. I don't know if he'll put any alcohol in here. He may put some
DIY number three. Tres. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm trying to learn Spanish. Don't pay me any attention. <laughs> All right, back to DIY tres. <laughs> so, nothing wrong here. It's just a little, is this allowed? Sorry. <laughs> you know, a tray. Really cute tray, but has coffee bar on it and we don't have a place to put this and it's not on the bar so it literally was in his office on his desk just collecting papers so we want to reuse it and again have it for his bar area but don't want it to say coffee so this is going to be a very simple like that type of DIY. <laughs> it's like, okay. So I have a ton of extra um, wrapping paper. So yeah, it's not gonna be a big serious DIY. Black and white, you know, my favorite combination. I'm literally just going to measure it out and just cut a piece and put it in the inside. So. It's not even gonna be that big of a deal, but I really think it will make a difference. Just hopefully no one will spill anything on it because then it will disintegrate, but <laughs> it'll look cute. We got this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a cool. Trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you help me the way I help you? You don't have to save me, just be my parachute. When I'm feeling down, you're just not there, making sure I'm okay. Why don't you help me the way I help you? Number four. Not really working on it right now. And I'm a little upset. <laughs> well, I'm not upset. I'm just bothered. Okay. Here's the thing. So I had this idea of this um, artwork that I wanted to create for the entrance of my husband's office. So I went to Amazon and I ordered these scrabble pieces because I wanted to spell out a certain I don't want to say poem but just I won't just wanted to say some words I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's here okay so I had this particular saying there you go that I wanted to say so I ordered these scrabble pieces and in my head they were a bit bigger than this so when they got here, I was like, they're super small, especially for this big old frame. <laughs> but anyway, I was gonna make it work. So, um, I have more than this, there's like 200 of them. But anyway, I separated them into what I needed and then I did like a little diagram of how I wanted it to look and I was okay with it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I can make it work. Until today, when I went into my closet to get more um, glue sticks, and I come across these. I don't know where they were before I ordered these, but anyway. These are like twice the size of these. So, Wonder, I wonder, so I thought to myself like, hmm, I wonder if I have enough letters to spell out what I want to spell out. And I barely made it. I, I need 
ease. Oh. That's such a random thing. I don't have enough ease. So, and I just, I think I'm missing maybe three. Random. And I was gonna try to just turn W on its side and make it look like an E, but it, it bumped me. So I was like, you know, if it's gonna bump me, then I know it's gonna bump him. So let me just do it right. So with that being said, I'm gonna have to put a pin in this DIY, go to the store that I got these from and hope that they still sell these so that I can come back and then work on this DIY. <sighs> Good morning. Hey loves, it's the next day and let me tell you about the excursion I went on last night. Okay, so as you all know, I went to see if I can find more of the letters for um, this DIY that I'm doing for my husband. So I went to the store that I originally got them from, hoping that they had just another little pack of letters and they had nothing. They only had numbers, which I was like, that doesn't, okay, that doesn't help me, but all right numbers whatever so I went to another store and they had absolutely nothing so driving back home PO'd <laughs> I decided to just go with my original plan which is use the Scrabble pieces now because they're so small and the frame is so big I decided to add more to the saying and in addition to that the um, other pieces that I'm not gonna use I'm just gonna kind of glue those at the well I don't want to give it all away you'll you'll see as I get started okay so off camera last night after I got home from not finding any letters oh. <laughs> I just started the DIY and yeah that was pretty that was a pretty safe thing to do because he was here and I was just painting a piece of paper so what I did was I painted the insert of the frame black and I just took some acrylic paint and a sponge and painted it and then I sectioned out all my letters that I'm going to use for different parts of the frame so that it could just be easier for me when I glue everything down I don't have to search for letters and stuff. Well, that was my DIY video where I did four DIYs for my husband's office. And I must say, they turned out quite nice and I cannot wait to style them in his space. So, if you like DIYs and thrifted decor and home tours and thrifted fashion and shopping in closets, I got a lot on this channel. Please like and subscribe and meet me back here next Friday. And don't want to miss next Friday because that is when I am revealing my husband's home office and I know he's going to flip. So that being said, please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. 